My name is Grace Martinez Rosas. I'm the daughter of Elia Rosas and Luis Martinez, and I am proud to serve as the next Executive Director of United We Dream and United We Dream Action. UWD is the largest immigrant youth-led network in the country. Our members are courageous. They are undocumented, and young people that are part of undocumented families have loved ones or friends that live the undocumented experience. We have been able to shut down detention camps, stop deportations, ensure that people have access to education. At United We Dream, we believe that those closest to the pain are also closest to the solutions, breakthroughs, and innovations that our world needs. Undocumented people have taken this nation by storm and declared without any reservation that we are undocumented, unafraid. It wasn't always easy for me to say that I was undocumented. In fact, my family and I were undocumented and terrified. I came to the United States when I was eight years old. My family and I arrived in Oak Cliff in Dallas, Texas. It's in this neighborhood is where I saw for the first time police brutality against black and brown people, against my mom, against my dad. In the summer of my senior year of high school, I saw undocumented people and young people walk out of high schools in states like California and Nevada. And I thought, why not here too? I remember leading a walkout from my high school. And I remember the sinking feeling of feeling like, oh my God, no one's gonna show up. I'm all alone. But in one of those moments, as I was walking out, I remember this, the room just opening up and the courtyard being filled with hundreds of young people from my high school. In that moment, and in me right then, I started to feel my power. It's the same feeling that I get to witness in the face of organizers like Luz in Maryland or Gabby in California. After that, I met United We Dream Texas organizers like Julieta and Montserrat. They invited me to Washington, D.C. in 2010. And me and my friends, we got a bus together of undocumented people. We piled on in there. And we came to Washington, D.C. to demand the DREAM Act. I remember the pain of losing in 2010. And the joy that came when we got together with members of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. And together, the immigrant youth movement developed the campaign that eventually led to DACA. That same year, my dad was taken away from me. He was driving after work. He was racially profiled by police, sucked into the detention system, and separated from us in a matter of weeks. These questions kept coming up. And when a couple of years later, my mom was diagnosed with lymphoma, her body riddled with cancer, unable to get access to the healthcare that she deserved. And as she passed away, an undocumented woman in the United States, my family and I made a promise that we would do everything and anything possible to bring this country to fulfill the dream that my parents had given their all for. Winning citizenship is an important milestone, but it alone does not mean liberation. Citizenship did not protect Breonna Taylor or Vanessa Guillen. Citizenship is not protecting the people of Portland or Chicago who are being abducted and abused by federal agents. The truth is that unless we unite and fight, the reality of undocumented people will become the reality for all people in this country. But I know that within us and among all of us, there is the power to transform this reality. Because we know that the same man that took my dad from me, the same corporations that kept medicine from my mother are the same people that want to put black and brown people in, in detention centers. They are the same people that want to purge us from the voter files. They are the same people that want to disrupt reproductive justice for women and women of color in the US. And so, armed with the truth, and armed with the courage and hope that it takes to transform this country, United We Dream is ready to usher in an immigrant justice movement 
that is led by undocumented brown, black, queer people of color, ready to show up for one another. Guided by Cristina Jimenez, United We Dream has been a place where the walls of white supremacy have started to fall down, where young undocumented people can declare without any question that we are undocumented and unafraid. To Cristina and the other co-founders, gracias. To the young people that are watching this, United We Dream is open and United We Dream is yours. I'm really honored to be able to lead United We Dream along with our members, our staff, our board. I'm honored to be able to see a new future coming by all of us, delivered by people of color. My name is Grecia Martinez Rosas. I'm undocumented, unafraid, queer and unashamed and I'm ready to fight.